And you see, you can find in the first commandment, we should not be worshiping other gods. These idols. And let me tell you that idols is not only referring to these graven images, but even idols are those that are going in between you and God. There are times that families become our idols. Be careful. Let's just put God in our family. There are times that our possession becomes our idols. But look, see, folks. Noah witnessed to others. He told others of their sins and pointed them to God. Just like John the Baptist, behold, the Son of God who taketh away the sin of the world. What patience God showed allowing the people of Noah's day, 120 years, to change their sinful ways. Is this not what Peter was telling us in 2 Peter 3.9? The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count His slackness. Parang, ibig sabihin ng iba, parang pabaya naman ng Panginoon, hindi pa siya dumadating. And then the Bible tells us, it goes on to say in the latter part of 2 Peter 3.9, the long suffering of the Lord is salvation. 120 years binigay dun sa henerasyon ni Noah. 120 years walang nasave, maliban dun sa kanyang family. If you are a preacher and you are preaching day in and day out, walang nag-respond, what would you do? I believe you will be quitting preaching. Hindi naman ako effective na preacher. But the Bible tells us that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. He preached God. He preached the righteousness of God. God shows His great patience. You know, not only during the time of Noah, but even in our time as well. He is giving us time to quit living our way and begin living His way the way He shows us in His Word. Isa nagbibigay talaga ang Panginoon ng panahon para tayo magbago. While 120 years seems like a long time, eventually the time ran out and the flood waters swept across the earth. You know, your time also may be running out. Do not think you have 120 times, 120 years. Minsan iniisip na, kailan ka pa magbabago? Kailan ka pa magbabalik sa Panginoon? Sometimes it's difficult to share this with you people because you are here. As no, hindi naman kami para, uh, at least you will be aware that uh, when time comes that you are tempted to go astray, you are reminded of that uh, lesson, that message concerning this Noah. You see, um, turn to God to forgive your sins. And God is a forgiving God. This morning in our devotion time in Matthew chapter 6, concerning the model prayer, we have seen the Father, the Heavenly Father. is really a model of our fathers. And He has forgiveness. Oh, you have seen that in the prodigal son, how the father ran to the son when he came back to himself and repented and asked forgiveness. We have a forgiving father, but we need to, to admit our sin, to confess our sin. And recognize that God is just and faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousnesses. Noah had no converts outside of his family. How discouraging this must have been for Noah. Nevertheless, he stayed true to God and the work he had given him to do. You know, 120 years. Tuloy lang. Oh? His family, however, Oh, this is good, folks. His family saw his faith and faithful walk and followed it. And so you can see that Noah faithfully witnessed to others. He walked with God. And finally, you can see that Noah won his family. If you will look at uh, chapter 7 of Genesis you will find here in chapter 7, in verse 1, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. In verse 7, it goes on to say, And Noah went in 
and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Noah so profoundly influenced his family that he won them to the Lord. Fathers, you might be uh, already about to give up what is happening to my family. You have already received Christ as Savior. Praise God, that is the foundation. That is the foundation of our life. Jesus Christ. God, in the beginning, God. But don't get discouraged. Just continue on. Be faithful. Look at Noah, 120 years. Ngayon ilang years ko palang saved. Baka mamaya, three years lang. Give up ka na. You know, God desires to save our homes, our families. But I've been telling even our uh, academy students that salvation is not by chromosomes. Salvation is by the cross of Calvary. Hindi naman yan immediately pinapasa ang tatay ko, pastor. Uh, ibig sabihin, save na ako. Tatay ko kasi, pastor. Remember that God has no grandchildren, only children. For we are the children of God by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi naman pwede natin, ang tatay ko, missionary. Kaya, okay na ako sa langit. Hindi yan. Ang tatay mo, gagamitin ng Panginoon na influence para sa iyo. But you have to have your own faith in the Lord. You may make the decision. You are not saved by genetics. You are saved by Golgotha. Not saved by generation. Saved by what? Not saved by race, but by grace. See, uh, hindi po yung ating mga magulang automatic na kung ligtas at saka pastor pa yung aking ama, missionary yung aking ama, ako rin ay accepted na sa lagin. You have to be born again. You need to make a decision. The father has an influence. And that is what Noah had faithfully done for his family. And you see, Noah so profoundly influenced his family that he won them to the Lord. Wag po tayo mag, mag, uh, maghihina na parang hindi pa naliligtas yung aking anak in due season. Wag po kayong mag, uh, mag, magiging impatient. In due season, the Bible tells us we shall reap if we faint not. Bakit ganito pa rin yung aking anak? Pasaway pa rin hanggang ngayon. In due season. Because... The Bible tells us, if you look at Proverbs chapter 11, is that Proverbs chapter 11, Brother John, uh, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he willeth. Kaya pong ayusin ang Panginoon ng puso niya eh. Magmanalangin lang tayo. I'm always telling to the parents about uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, arrow na papakawala natin. Arrows are, oh, of course, not meant to be Collected, they are meant eventually to be projected and then to be propelled, to be released. But when you already release the arrows, the children I'm referring to, it doesn't mean that you cannot do anything. Fathers, mothers, we can still pray. Pray that God will send a good wind, that they will be going into the right direction where God desires for them to be. We continue to pray, and I believe Noah was praying for his children, for his family. He had little influence, you know, on the people of his generation, but he did influence his family. Oh, brethren, better that a man be the means of influencing his family and be respected at home than he should rule a kingdom. Oh, you have heard that many times from this pulpit. I still remember Pastor Woosley telling that, no success abroad can compensate for your failure at home. You may be the, the best pastor, but your family is in watak-watak, hindi maayos, parang hindi ka rin successful. No success abroad can compensate for your failure at home. The first responsibility a father has is to his home. And Noah's family members were his only converts. He was a great, he was not a great preacher, but you know Noah was a great practicer. He was not a great financier, but he was a great father. What a day for Noah as his entire family entered the ark. The entire family were saved. Others, I, I know that there are some probably, there is one son, probably may pasaway pa rin kayong anak. 
Huwag po tayo mang hinawa. Let us not get weary in well-doing. Patuloy nating ipanalangin. Patuloy tayo na maging faithful sa Panginoon. Patuloy nating i-exemplify sa ating mga anak ang pagiging tapat na naglilingkod sa Panginoon. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. He walked with God. He witnessed to others. And thank God, while others may not have responded positively, thank God, his family was won to the Lord. Yes, this is not an easy time to be a father. And a Christian father at that. The Bible tells us, as it was in the days of Noah, Nandito po rin po tayo, kapareho ng panahon ni Noah. But God's grace, let me tell you, is sufficient for fathers now as then. May God enable us to win our families to Christ and truly influence them for God. Fathers, let me encourage you, walk with God, witness to others, and lead our families to follow us in faith. Whose faith follow? When you look at that in the, the word, no? Children, let me talk to you. Children. Oh. If you will look at Proverbs 23, if you will look at Proverbs 23, the Bible tells us, before you can see that passage, my son, give me thine heart, you will see here in Proverbs chapter 23, I was not able to put this in the outline, but I was reminded of this. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 23 in verse 23, in verse 22, verse 22, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 23, 22, the Bible tells us, Hearken unto thy father that begat thee. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. By the truth and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding the father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice you want rejoicing for your father be a righteous son the father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice and he that begat that a wise child shall have joy of him thy father and thy mother shall be glad and see that bear thee shall rejoice my son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. Children, are you rejoicing to your dads? To your moms? No, you, you go back to Proverbs chapter 1. I believe this is in verse 8 where the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 1, My son, my son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. Mga anak, makinig po tayo sa ating magulang. Makinig po tayo sa ating ama. Minsan, nang nagugulat ako, may mga anak na lumalaki. May angas na. Ano ba yung angas sa Tagalog dyan? May hangin. Para bang mas malunong pa sa tatay, mas malunong pa sa nanay. Mga anak, dumadating ang Father's Day. Mga tapos, dun yung ino-honor ang father. Pagkatapos, after the day, hindi man nyo sinusunod ang tatay nyo. Hanggang Father's Day lang. They deserve to be honored every day of the year. Hindi lang yung pagka-Father's Day. Minsan, bibigyan nyo ng regalo, bibigyan nyo ng pati bibigyan nyo ng mga gift. Thank God for that. But you know, our fathers rejoice when their sons are what? Wise. They, they follow instruction. They follow the instruction of their father, their mother. Sometimes you might be wondering, paano ko kaya mapapaligaya si tatay? Paano ko kaya mapapaligaya si nanay? Kahit narigaluhan mo si tatay ng iPad. Kung hindi ka rin sumusunod kay tatay, anong sabi? Obedience is better than iPad. Sacrifice! Sumunod po tayo. Children, let me tell you, your parents brought you up. Do not let them down! 
Pinalaki tayo ng ating mga magulang pagkatapos pabab. And then you you be a what? Discouragement to your father. Be diligent. Why children make happy fathers? Be diligent, be kind, be wise. These are the traits that are priceless in our fathers. Pagka nakikita na ang anak ko sumusunod, ang anak ko talagang respeto. You may not agree with your parents with regard to the philosophy of life, but you have to obey. Anong sabi? Honor thy father and thy mother. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Later on, you will see what it is to be a parent, what it is to be a father. You know, in these statistics, you will see, sa umpisa pa lang, mga kwan, ah, parang, pero pagka lumalaki na yan, nakikita nyo, because of the experiences that you are exposed to in life, nakikita nyo, ah, ganun pala si tatay. Naunawaan nyo. Eh, lalong-lalo na kung ikaw na'y lolo. Mas lalo mo na unawaan. Oh? Yung hirap ng inyong magulang. Mga anak, huwag nyo nang abutin pa yung edad na kayo'y magiging lolo, na kayo'y tatay habang maaga pa. You learn from precepts. Huwag nang antayin na magdumating yung mga ma- ma-practice nyo yung mga bagay na ganyan at saka lang kayo ma- magugulumi. Ha? Si tatay, wala na. Si nanay, wala na. And then you will be giving a lot of eulogies. And the mother, the father is not even hearing. You give the flowers. Hindi naman nila naaamoy. Habang ngayon, sundin nyo na. Nakikiusap ako. God is telling us of that. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with promise. Anong promise that it may be well with thee? You want your life to be well? That you may live long on the earth? It means a full life, a life with meaning, a life with purpose. Folks, what are we going to do with this? With our fathers, Father's Day, we thank you. We thank God for fathers. We thank you, fathers who are here. Will you take the challenge, fathers, and truly ask God to give you that grace, that wisdom, and strength to succeed as a father in such a difficult time as this? I hope, as God, God's invitation is given, we'll just bear our heart to the Lord and ask God to make us the father that He wants us to be. And really, uh, uh, ask the Lord to bless our family. And you children, you're here. Maybe you have given heart aches or heart breaks to your dad, to your mom. There is still time for you, just like in the time of Noah. But do not wait for 120 years. Maybe there is time for you to make amens or get back into the, the, the way that God would want you to do and give honor to your father. And how is the father... Made, made glad a wise son makes a glad father how is how, how is a son becoming wise when you stay in the word when you follow God's word do not expose yourself with internet theology do not expose yourself with things in the world and and say when you go home to your dad and to your mom I found a way stay in the word of God Minsan, naisip ko yung mga binabanggit ng mga matatanda. No? Papunta ka pa lang. Pabalik na ako. May katotohanan din yan. No? Marami nang natu- natutunan yung ating mga magulang eh. They had known this from the beginning. And children, I hope that we will re- be really serious with our responsibility to our parents. Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, but what does that mean, really? You know, mabuti na hindi ka nalang magsabi ng Happy Father's Day, ayusin mo nalang yung buhay mo at maging kagalang-galang ka sa iyong magulang. Mas mabuti yan. Now, I'm not saying that you should not say Happy Father's Day. Mas madobling, mas mabuti. You are greeting your father and then you are meaning it 
from the bottom of your hearts. Remember, as I have said earlier, our fathers, our mothers raised us up. Do not bring them down. Let's all stand, please. Every head bowed, eyes closed. How is it with you? Fathers, how is it with you? The rest of the family members, children. I hope that we'll just bear our hearts before God and really ask God to bless our family. You're a father here. You just have to come. Oh, knows, God knows your heart's desire for your family. Almighty God and loving Father, we praise and thank you for these reminders even from the life of Noah. We pray that you will help us to truly recognize your desire for our families, that we are to walk with you. We are to be a witness to others. And Lord, because of that, you know, we know that you will be the one to enable us to win our families. Lord, help us to realize that we can still succeed even in spite of these difficult times because you are with us. Lord, help us to realize that you desire to bless our homes, our families. And even at this time, Lord, as we respond to your word, we pray that you will continue to break our hearts and enable us to have a responsive heart to do what you bid us to do. Lord, help us to signify even this decision by just coming here in the altar and pray and truly ask your divine guidance, your divine leadership in our lives. Lord, help us to utter like with Joshua, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Lord, we just commit to you this invitation time. And if there is anyone here who is not yet sure of heaven, Lord, be the one to speak to that person's heart. Enable that person to make a decision to receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of our lot. Lord, we pray that you will just continue to work even now as your invitation is given because we ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Heads bowed, eyes closed. The Lord has spoken to your heart. Will you just come even as Deacon Higantoni, Deacon uh, De Los Reyes, and Deacon uh, Joel or Deacon San Juan, they are there at the upper balcony. Will you please come as the piano and the organ play, the Lord has spoken to your heart. I need to be the father that God wants me to be. I need to be the child that God wants me to be. The Lord speaks to your heart. What would you do with that, with the word of God, even at this time? Will you come right now? Children, would you truly honor your parents? Are you thankful to the Lord that He has given you a father, a mother, a family? Are you truly grateful that God has provided someone to protect you, to provide for your needs, to uphold you, to nourish you? What is it that you are grateful for God this morning? Will you thank God for your fathers? How is it with you this morning? How is it with you? Will you come and just express to the Lord that desire? Even fathers, would you want your family to be together in worship, in service? The Lord speaks to your heart. Will you come right now? Is God speaking to you? Meron po ba tayo dito na hindi patiyak ang kaligtasan? Wag po tayong mahiya na lumapit. It is God knocking at your heart's door, will you allow Him to come in? Will you allow Him to uh, have a place in your life? Will you come? The Lord speaks to your heart. Nangungusap po ang Panginoon sa atin. Let it not be just teaching our minds, but let it really touch our hearts, the Word of God. And God's desire is to transform our lives. If you will just make that, that decision, will you come? Wag po tayong mahiya na lumapit. This is God's opportune time for you. Maybe you need to make a decision. I need my family to be together. You know that God is in the business of rebuilding families. Maybe you have broken homes, broken lives. But God is still in the business of rebuilding lives, rebuilding homes, rebuilding families. If you will just trust in the Lord, Magtiwala lang po tayo sa Kanya na Siya ang tunay na makapagbibigay ng pagbubuo ng ating pamilya. Tunay na makapagbibigay ng pagpapala sa ating buhay. 
How is it with you this morning? Are you satisfied with your condition as a father, as a child? Or maybe there are things that you need to mend in your family. And God is speaking to your heart. I would to God that we will just make things right. Let us not wait for 120 years. We'll call the answers even as we take our final offering intended for the World Missions Ministry Center. Our Father, we praise and thank you for your word. Thank you for these reminders. And we pray, Father, that you will just continue to challenge our hearts, to touch our hearts, Lord, and enable us to have a heart that is truly yielded, tender, to do what you desire for us to do. Oh Lord, we thank you for the fathers that are here. We thank you for your grace upon their lives and their families. And Lord, we pray that you will just help us to have a tender heart, to be obedient children. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness shown in many, many ways in our lives. And even Lord, we pray for those who have come, though know us their hearts this are, those that have come for salvation or for baptism, or talking with you in this altar, Lord, I pray your special blessings upon them and continue to manifest your great grace upon every father's and every family represented here this morning. We thank you even for this opportunity to keep on investing, giving for our World Missions Ministry Center. Lord, we pray that you will bless the gift and the giver even for the rest of the brethren who may not have yet brought in their tithes or given their offerings. Lord, thank you for this opportunity. Bless the gift and the giver in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you. Be seated, please. All fathers, please stay put. Ibig sabihin, manatili po tayo. Huwag tayong alis. We have still some things to, to do to celebrate tokens to give to you we would like to call first our birthday celebrants we'd like to call michael catalunya who is still here michael could you please come Diego castillo if Diego is still here could you please come let's still remain where we are marina magbanua glenda manuel happy birthday to the following deacon baltasar higantoni june 19 June 19, Ronaline Grace Francisco, Joanna Lincoran, June 20, Kian Lial, Kian, you're here, please come, Joel Mendoza, we have Marie Isabel Borromeo, Isai, Solomon and Agnes Baluyot, happy anniversary, Norman and Charis Suanya, John and Mina Jacobo, happy anniversary, John and Mina, those of you whose names were called, could you please come and give, receive these birthday cards? We have for our Bibles, 9,100. Brother Joel, could you please take care of this? 9,100. Thank you, brethren. We continue to gather this offering for the Bibles that we will be buying. We need 10,000 Bibles. Okay, Sister Pamela, thank you. Sister Pamela Jose is here. Deacon Baltasar Higantoni, happy birthday. All the fathers or all the birthday celebrants, could you please come? Ronaline Grace Francisco, Joanna Lincoran, Ro Joanna Lincoran, Kian Lial, Kian Lial, Maria Isabel Borromeo, Solomon and Agnes Baluyot, John and Mina Jacobo, John and Mina Jacobo, Michael Catalunya. Joel Mendoza, Kian Lial, Magbanua, 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 Glenda Manuel, Michael Catalunya, Diego Castillo, Marina Magbanua, Min, Joanna, Solomon and Agnes Baluyot, Chan and Mina, Chan and Mina, Joanna Lincoran, 
Ronaline Grace Francisco, Solomon and Agnes Baluyot, Glenda Manuel, Michael Catalunya, Solomon and Agnes Baluyot, Ten Cole, Joanna Lincoran, Solomon and Agnes Baluyot, Tip Cole, kung sa court yan, magagalit na yung judge. Tama, fiscal, ano, pagka sa court. Let's have another call. Joanna Lincoran. Michael Lincoran. Okay, let's uh, stand please and greet these folks. Let's all stand. Let's, all let's stand. sing happy let's birthday sing happy song. Birthday. Diego Castillo. Everybody Roman. sing. Happy, happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Shimi Padrigano, happy for baptism. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. To Jesus be true. God bless you and keep you the whole year through Marina Isai. Sweet Rasian. Sean. Solomon. Agnes. Richer, fuller, deeper, Jesus' love is sweeter, sweeter as the years go by. Okay, before we uh, sit down, let me present to you, Brother Jimmy Padrigano is the uh, younger brother of Sister Mercy and Susan. Nasa gitna ka, no? Nasa gitna. And Brother Jimmy would want to follow the Lord in baptism bago siya umalis mamaya, papunta ng... Netherlands, Denmark. Okay, so those who are in favor, please say Amen. amen. Okay, Brother San Juan is ready. Okay, thank you very much. Be seated for a while. Punta muna po kayo doon. Uh, Brother Jimmy, you are ready. Matagal na yan, overdue na yan. Ang naisip niya, talagang kailangan kong sumunod sa Panginoon sa tubig ng bautismo. God's plan for a believer is to be baptized. Baptism doesn't save, but a saved person needs to be Baptized. Okay. Would you please take care of this. We have a presentation. Start. Di graduation niya na, Father's Day yan. Dala ko sa'yo yung kwan ah. graduation yan. We would like to request all the fathers to uh, proceed to the choir loft at this time. Thank you very much. Once again, we will join all the fathers our choir Fathers, could you please come to the choir love at this time? Fathers, and as you are coming, could you please give a token? Mamiana, Mamiana, in token. 